Hey guys, so in this week's Artist Seller Box, I received a, a basically a stamp carving toolkit. And in that toolkit, I have a speedball, a speedy carve, and a speedball lino cutter. And in the top of this tool is a little spot where you can hold all of your attachments. And I did a little bit of experimenting throughout the week and tried my hand at carving a few different things. And I wouldn't say I'm the best uh, stamp carver by any means, but I've had a lot of fun and uh, slowly I've learned quite a bit about how to go about it. So I've already got one that I've started today. And for this one, um, there's an attachment that looks a lot like a exacto knife and so I just put that attachment on the tool and then cut out the piece with just a regular ink pen I did just a simple illustration and now I'm working on going in with the it's kind of a large scoop attachment and you want to take it slow and steady and be careful not to do too much at once. Because unfortunately, once you carve it, you're committed. Now I'm going to switch out the attachment in favor of a small, more fine detail one. It looks like that. And just go around the edges. Let's see what we're working with. Cool. I'll take it. See, I'm working on the moon phases, and I have my full moon already. Now I have just one more stamp that I need to carve out uh, to complete what I'm looking for. And I'll show you here how I go about doing that. This was just the uh, stamp sample sheet that I had made, and I think I want to work on top of this and see if I can turn it into a piece. Now I have a uh, Dinah Wakely Media Heavy Body Acrylic Paint in Ocean. 
And then I also have a slightly watery paintbrush. Okay, now I have an artist seller stencil, and this is from the uh, Sacred Geometry 2 series. I'm just going to put it down. Now, since I've added all these layers, my original stamps are kind of getting a little bit faded. So I'm going to go through and stamp them again. Try to line them up, although it is inevitable that it will not be perfect. Now I'm coming in with a couple more stamps. Um, these are both from Prima. 